Instead of thinking of the rib cage pulling down, which again will contract the muscles, you think of breathing into the back there. So it expands the muscles, opens the lower back, lifts the hips, does magic for you. Let me show you one in a back bend. So instead of thinking of, oh, I have to go up and tightening, you breathe and it expands. So it's, you know, it's quite amazing to see these three work together because as soon as I do that, I'm going to be activating in Mula Bandha, but I'm also going to be activating in Jalandhara Bandha and the back bends are the proof of that one. So instead of thinking I have to lift the head or lift the chest, I relax the rib cage, breathe into it and it picks me up and it aligns the neck so that my drishti is naturally at the tip of my nose and naturally my neck is lengthened. Anurasana, so the same principle there, instead of picking it up going, uh, you find your mula bandha and you relax your ribs across, I say always a little bit lower than the bra strap, and relax across the back and it unfolds you. Lift me up instead of there or instead of there into a natural alignment which will push the feet higher as well. If you open up the back, it seems to enable more shoulder flexibility, that there's more shoulder blade being able to come down the back. So working again always with the three R's, we get the rotation of the shoulder blades, but it's really nice and down dog. Sometimes we, we lifting, we got everything really working, but are we relaxing? So I just use a breath and I feel, and that takes me into good alignment. So I was just focusing on the mid back to bring more weight into the hands. As you relax the rib cage, the weight transfers onto the hands. So a handstand even jump throughs, instead of jumping and being in that alignment, you start to happen to get into that alignment. Cool. So keep practicing getting over your hands, or if not easy work, good. Thank you for watching. Namaste.